Hi, I'm Andrew Pryor, and in this demonstration of System Centre Essentials, or SKI, I'm going to take a look at the exciting world of authoring. And before I get into that, we need to understand exactly what we're doing here. Authoring is the business of customising SKI to monitor specifics about your environment. Authoring is inherited essentially from Operations Manager, and all the technical knowledge about how to do that, you're probably better off searching for Ops Manager than for System Center Essentials. And authoring is built on um, management packs, and when you install a particular management pack, you get templates with it. And if you look at the authoring here, you can see I've got some templates already. I'm going to stick to safe ground here, and as a DBA, I'm quite interested in how well my databases are performing. And if I want to do that, I can simply use this template for OLADB here, right click and add a monitoring wizard. Because rather than just checking that SQL Server is running, I want to see how fast it's performing. And the way to do that is to go through the steps in this wizard. So we'll call this um, Ski Sunday Demo. And what I'm specifically interested in is that my reporting services database is going to be operating OK. So I'm going to check the speed of my reporting services. Down here I get to choose which management pack it's in. I can put it in my own management pack and we can call that, we'll call that Ski Sunday because we might build up some more as I go through my Odyssey. Next. I'll just create it there and leave everything else blank for a minute. Back to my OLADB source. Next thing I need to know is tell it where my database is. And we can build that with a wizard here. One of the things to notice here is that I've got a whole list of providers. And these are just the drivers that are installed on this particular machine. What you could do is maybe put the Oracle drivers on here and see how Oracle's performing, or Postgres, or some other uh, database that you're interested in. But I'm staying with the SQL Server one. And I'm going to look at the local performance on here. And I'm going to specifically look at the report server, which is the database that drives the metadata for reporting services. I can actually put in a query to execute, so it'll actually test this query every time I, I want to uh, see how it's performing. So click start from catalog should do it for me. And just test that that's OK. And you can see my timings here. So if I put my connection time in here, my error threshold, I might say that anything over 150 is too slow, and my warning might come in at, um, say, 100. And I'm going to set it deliberately low for that. And then this I might set to another 100. This I might set to, say, 200. And warning at 150. And my fetch time milliseconds error at 100. And warning. 50. Obviously the errors have to be higher levels than the thresholds. As soon as I've done that, I hit next. And then I can choose where to watch this from. So I can watch it from the ski box itself. But I could also choose to watch it from one of the clients to see how well they're connecting. And this is an important thing as we move into the world of services. But it doesn't really matter that the database is performing fast on its box. What matters to the user, all they care about, is how fast can I get to my data from my machine. So testing the whole service. I can also choose here when to run this, and I'll put this in every 30 seconds. I get the usual summary screen, I hit create, and that will create that. And that's the monitoring job set up. I want to leave it for a couple of hours so that we can see what sort of telemetry it's going to output. A couple of hours have gone by, but where do I find out where all the telemetry is? and see how the job is performing. Well, we need to go back to monitoring. And in this big long list, there's something called the synthetic transaction. And in here, we have the OLADB source state, you can see here. And I've got a warning up. And it's telling me about some of the problems that I'm getting, and what the resolution might be to those problems. What I can also do, is open a performance view and I can check on the 
three things that we set up in that wizard earlier. And if I just expand the time range out now, the last two hours, we can now see what's been going on with that while I left it to run. Clearly there is some sort of spike going on here that might need investigation. If that's occurring regularly, something I might want to go and have a look at. There's a lot more to authoring than I've gone through in this short video, so we'll have a look at some more stuff next time.